What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And guys, it is Monday, which means that it is Team of the Week time here on Ultimate Team. And I wanted to show you guys the set that is out for both the offense and the defense. So as you can see on your screen here in the background, you do have a Week 10 offense, Week 10 defense, your elite items, the set reward are... The Des Bryant on offense and then the Patrick Peterson on defense. Both of these items are absolutely sick. But I want to show you guys the items that are actually needed to complete these sets first. First, we've got Martavis Bryant, the rookie for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wide receiver, CJ Anderson, running back for the Denver Broncos. Matt Stafford, of course, quarterback for the Lions. And then you have Odell Beckham Jr., these items, the elites, are going for a ridiculous amount right now because these two set rewards, the Dez and the Pat Pete, are among the absolute best that we've seen so far for the Team of the Week items. So, yeah, all the cards in here are going for quite a bit, but definitely the elites are going for hundreds of thousands of coins right now. I think right now I saw them going for somewhere between like three hundred to 400000 depending on the console and the time, of course, that you're looking at it. But that is crazy. That's a game changer right there if you pull one of those. You can... You can either decide that you want to finish the set and then, you know, go with your Des Bryant or your Pat Pete. Or, of course, you could sell one of them and really flip around your entire team if you have uh, kind of a budget squad right now like a lot of us still do. So uh, those are the four items that go in the offense. And then, of course, you have the Des Bryant 68-yard touchdown team of the week collectible. And then, uh, let's see here, on defense, Pat Pete, of course, again, the reward. I'm telling you guys, that is an awesome item. But if you got Croy Bierman. The, uh, for the Falcons, you've got Desmond Bryant for the Browns. Jaquan Jarrett, free safety, of course, for the Jets. And then you've got Alec Ogletree, who had a nice game for the Rams, despite the fact that they lost. But, um, yeah, and then your, uh, your collectible item is Patrick Peterson to pick six. Yeah, if you guys didn't see that, uh, that, uh, pick six, that was a pretty sick, uh, play by pat pete so i want to uh wanted to just show you guys those and then of course um i wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the actual items that you do get here if you uh if you are the uh, the recipient of being able to actually finish one of these sets like i know i i have not been able to do any of them yet which kind of sucks um, but I definitely uh, want to try and do this Des Bryant one. Of course, I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan, as you guys are aware. But, um, you know, I, I don't know if we'll, I'll ever have the chance to do it because uh, these items just go for such a crazy amount. But I want to show you guys real quickly here the uh, Des Bryant item because it's pretty sweet. Uh, definitely one of the best wide receivers that they have put into the game so far. Let's see if we can find him. Buy now price. Go to the top. And that's not it. Let's see here. I don't know if anybody actually has uploaded this thing or not. Okay, guys. Because there is no Des Bryant currently on the auction block or on the trade block, I can't really show you the actual item and what it looks like. It's unfortunate timing right now. But anyway, uh, I did want to give you guys a quick rundown of some of these attributes that it has. Uh, it's obviously 6'2", because Des Bryant's 6'2", but 94 speed, 94 agility, 84 awareness, 91 route running, 95 catching, 94 catch in traffic, 93 release. So it's definitely one of the better route runners and just the guys that can get open. And that's, of course, what we're looking for in this game. But the one attribute that it is the absolute best at is in spectacular catch because it does have a 97 for spectacular catch. And that is the best of any item in this game so far. So that is pretty sick. Uh, pretty damn beastly for a Des Bryant item. I'm super excited about it. Like I said, guys, I just don't think I'm going to ever be able to complete this collection unless I somehow come across Odell Beckham or something like that. Then I might really consider doing the Des Bryant just because it would be so cool to have that Des Bryant item. Uh, the other thing, too, is that it also does have 95 uh, jump which is pretty impressive. It is actually the second highest in the game next to Justin Voltung of the St. Louis Rams, a bronze item. I don't know. Don't don't ask me. I don't know who that is. I'm sure somebody will respond in the comment section and be like, oh yeah, he won like the high jump in college or something like that. And then that would kind of make sense. But uh, given the fact that I have no idea who that dude is, I, I'm just kind of shocked that he has a 96 jumping. But uh, Dez has a 95 jumping, which of all the items that you would actually use on your team is the best at the wide receiver position. So that's pretty impressive. Um, then let's take a look here at the uh, Patrick Peterson, because I know that a lot of people are going to be interested in this one. The Pat Pete, oh man, this item is absolutely ridiculous right now. Um, 
it's I, I don't know if I would say it's the best cornerback in the game at this point because it's still the Richard Sherman's out there but it, I think it compares very favorably in front of some of these other items that uh, just you know don't really uh, stack up to it in terms of like you know the speed and the um, just like the actual coverage attributes and everything and that's what I think uh, Patrick Peterson is the best at because he's not just one or the other he is amazing in speed and he has amazing like play recognition everything like that here we go here's the uh patrick peterson obviously this one is a little bit more um achievable at this point given the fact that there are actually multiple of them up on the auction block at the moment but as you guys can see here 96 agility pretty nice 97 speed and 97 acceleration it is the fastest cornerback in this game right now guys uh tied actually with antonio cromartie flashback so uh that is pretty sick or excuse me i think it's uh yeah it's dominic rogers cromartie throw uh flashback not antonio cromartie excuse me um but yeah it's uh definitely a sick item as far as speed goes then of course it does have 82 catching which is nice and it's pretty good actually as far as uh after the catch as well because obviously you guys know if if you watched a lot of patrick peterson highlights this dude can make plays with the ball in his hand he's a sick punt return he was ridiculous at it in college and when he's been given the opportunity in the nfl he has taken quite a few uh, punt returns and kick returns for big yardage in the NFL. So, yeah, the 97 kick return obviously is a, a pretty cool stat as well. Although, I still don't really know what the kick return attribute means. Uh, I'm, I might have to do a Mythbusters on that at some point because, um, to me, that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's probably, it's probably similar to, like, awareness where it, it's something that it actually... It only really matters when the computer is controlling the player, which will never happen in Mutt because when the ball is in your hand, you're automatically controlling that player. So your kick return attribute, I would assume, is irrelevant. But I could be wrong on that. Maybe there's something else that goes into it. Uh, but anyways, his jumping is 95, which is obviously sick. And uh, the juke move as well, 96. Very, very nice as well. But what you guys are really interested in, 97 man coverage. 97 man coverage. That is insane. With 93 zone is pretty good as well. Um, he's not going to get injured. He's got 97 injury and 97 stamina, which is actually a highly underrated attribute in my opinion because I cannot tell you how many times I've had cornerbacks get tired in this game and then they just get toasted deep. It's so frustrating, and that's something that he will not do. He will definitely be out there for you almost every single play, and it doesn't get much better than that. He also has 86 spec catch, which for a cornerback is pretty damn beastly. His hit power, as you can imagine, is probably not that great at 76, but he does have a good press at 93 as well. So that is it for the actual items. I hope that you guys got some information about that. Sorry I wasn't able to find any of the Des Bryant's. They just aren't on the auction block right now. It's going to show you how rare it is right now to pull any of those items. Uh, the Odell Beckham, there's only one up right now, and I saw it was going for like 470000 So to do this collection, it is going to cost you quite a bit. So uh, anyways, let's go in here and let's purchase a few pro packs and try and pull some of these things because I actually went into the auction house there, but um, I, I want to try and pull one of those team of the week items. I think that that would be pretty sweet. I haven't had uh, a ton of luck lately, but um, I still want to try and pull up and the very first thing we get is a Desmond Bryant. That's pretty good timing. I'm talking about how I never pull anything and then I get a team of the week. I think it's probably one of the cheapest team of the weeks at the moment, but I will certainly take that. Um, that definitely at least pays for the pack. So uh, I certainly appreciate that. There, it, it just, I, I'm kind of shocked right now that it happened that quickly. Three items into the pack opening. I think I'm going to open up five, maybe six packs here and see what kind of things that I can open up. So uh, that's pretty cool that I start off with the Desmond Bryant. I would definitely be happy if I was able to pull a couple more of those Team of the Week items. I've got a few coins to spare here. I'm at about 500,000 at the moment. So uh, hopefully we're able to get something decent here. And we get CJ Wilson, Road to the Playoffs. Uh, that light blue trolled me a little bit there. I was pretty excited about that for a second. I thought I pulled a legend, but didn't. And uh, I'm not sure. I don't think that item goes for very much. That's all right, though. We still got that team of the week in the first pack. So let's see here. We've got three, maybe four more packs. And uh, anyways, guys, so uh, that Des Bryant, though. And, of course, I get a punter as my... Well, actually, I think, yeah, the punters don't count as your gold item. We get another team of the week. That's two out of three packs. 
Oh my gosh, I am pulling just crazy stuff right now. I think those are two of the cheapest team of the weeks, but damn, that's not too bad. At least getting to pay for my packs, you know what I'm saying? That uh, that doesn't happen that often in MUT. <laughs> you pretty much usually either pull something ridiculous or nothing at all. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to try and get... I guess, let's see here, I got two defensive players, so maybe I'll uh, see what I can do as far as finding the other items, like the ogle tree and, and the... Uh, the other items that I need to actually finish to maybe get that Patrick Peterson. We'll see. If I get one more team of the week here in these final three packs, I will definitely do that set. I don't care how much it costs. I will figure out a way to make it happen. But um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. I want it. I would love to get that Des Bryant. Obviously, uh, as a Cowboys fan, it would be amazing to have a really cool uh, wide receiver item. But um, I'm not expecting it. Obviously, as we get Victor Butler as our gold road to the playoffs. Um, but yeah, Dez, man, he had just a ridiculous game. Uh, obviously, it was against the uh, the um, Jaguars, so you can't really be too excited about it. But even still, it was at a neutral field. It was kind of in an environment where not a lot of teams have done much offensively. And he just came out and, and did his thing. You know, he came out there and, and was Dez Bryant. Like, we expect him to be against a bad team. He put up the numbers from a fantasy standpoint, which is what I am always excited about. He put up monster numbers. And he really actually pretty much solidified me a win and a playoff spot in my highest money league that I play in. So I definitely appreciate that from him. But anyways, we aren't able to pull anything offensively for the team of the week in our six packs here. But got a good start to it on defense at least so maybe we'll see if i end up wanting to do this uh, this set i'm not i'm not for certain at this point we'll see it, it's going to really depend on what the items start to go for in the next day or two here as as we start to see them kind of drop off in price they're always like three times four times as expensive as they end up being at the beginning of the week and then you see it just drop off and kind of then it eventually plateaus out to the point where you can actually maybe consider affording it but it would be pretty sweet to have a patrick peterson who can actually lock down the opposing team's number one wide receiver. I have a really tough time in this game stopping the pass. I don't know what it is. I, I mean, I wasn't great at it last year in Madden 25, but in Madden 15, man, I am pretty damn awful at stopping the pass. So maybe the Patrick Peterson would be the kind of item that would help me flip that around and really make my team better overall because I can usually manually stop the run, but man, stopping the pass has just been absolutely atrocious. But if I can actually, you know, just set Patrick Peterson out there on the outside and let him be one-on-one -on -one with the opposing team's wide receiver one, and then I can really kind of focus on stopping the tight end and uh, really stopping like the spams over the middle to the tight end that that would really be I think the thing that I need to uh, to start doing on defense so if I actually able to get that Patrick Peterson you guys might be seeing me improve my gameplay significantly from what it's currently at right now but anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about the items that came out. Hope you enjoyed the little pack opening. Two Team of the Week items out of six packs. Can't really complain about that. Obviously, like I said, I think that they're two of the cheaper ones, but that's totally fine with me. I'm, I'm just happy to actually get something that, you know, pays for the packs unlike usual so thank you guys again for watching like i said i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel also pre please press the subscribe button so that you know when i put out new content and then you guys will get a little uh, message on your subscriptions box that i put out a new item and that would be cool for me to be in that subscription box for you guys thank you again and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon